Hey, what's up guys, Keenan here. Today, I'm talking about something that, it really sucks. It's something that I hope you guys learn from. I'd like to teach this uh, so that you guys don't make the same mistake I did. So you've probably seen, you've probably already seen plenty of videos about injuries, but you know, injuries are something that you don't ever think it's gonna happen to you. I never thought I would have an injury like this in the gym, but unfortunately I don't have footage of the injury, but this is what happened, guys. So two nights ago, I was bench pressing. I was not warmed up. I did, I did four sets. I did four or five sets before I actually um, tried to max out, but I had a little bit of pain in both front delts and I just kept pushing through it. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll be all right. I'm just kind of cold. Um, it was a little chilly in the gym. Um, so I, I even did some push-ups too, to try to warm up, get loosened up. I stretched a little bit, but um, in the end it was not enough. Um, I don't focus enough on stretching. Stretching is very important to do after your workouts. And my shoulders are just tight. My whole body is tight right now because I don't stretch enough. And um, so yeah, I, I put 315 on there. In my mind, it was my last set on bench press before I was gonna move on to uh, incline dumbbell press. Um, and here's, here's how it went. I sat down. There's a mirror right here to the right of the bench press. So I sat down, I looked over at my right arm, no veins, no vascularity. So the first thing I thought right there was, wow, I'm still not warmed up. Like my blood's not really flowing. I shouldn't be trying to max out right now when I'm so cold that you can't even, like my veins aren't even popping out. So I knew right there I probably shouldn't have even tried it, but my spotter was already back there. I was ready to go. I felt pretty strong. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. So I laid down, unracked 315, and I brought it down. As soon as I got to the bottom and started pushing up, I felt popping over here. I, I heard it actually, I, I could hear like, basically what it sounded like and I looked down I yelled I was like ah and I looked over and I could see my chest right here moving like this that's basically what it looked like it was like moving like that right away I knew that I probably just tore something so luckily my spotter was right there to grab that weight off me very quickly because I can guarantee you that minimizes damage because like as soon as I felt it, he had the weight and I no longer had to hold it because the longer I would have had to hold that weight here, the worse that would have been. So I, I really think having a spotter there minimized the damage. But, you know, I got up, um, I instantly, you know, I had pain right here. I could barely lift my arm. I knew that I just completely screwed up and probably, um, probably ruined several months of this year by doing that. So I got up, I started walking around. Uh, my buddies and my brother went and got me a bag of ice. So, but before, before they even got the ice, I was walking around, I walked into the bathroom. Um, I was looking in the mirror at it and you can see a little bit of a difference. It's not huge, but you can see how this side comes down. You got some meat right here that connects there and comes down into my chest. Over here, you don't have as much meat there. It's, it, what happened is I believe it pulled off and went down into here. So, it's hard to really see on the camera, but 
you know, this pack right now is a lot more swollen than this one. Uh, you can really see it like right here. Um, where I flex, like, like there's my right pack and I can't really, like that, that hurts to flex my left pack. If I try to do a front double buy, like you, you can just see the shape different. Like this goes straight. This is more almost horizontal. This over here is like diagonal. There's a lot more beef right here that's attaching up here on the humerus, on, on your arm. So I believe that not all of it, but part of my pectoral tendon must have ripped off, sunk down into here. And now I just have a little bit left up there holding it on. So I don't know how severe it is. You can see the bruising. Um, it's definitely painful. Like, thankfully I can still raise my arm up, but yep, here you can see how there's like a big lump right there on my chest. And you, you can see how my right pack is almost flat in this position. So when I come back like this, you can see this pack gets wider because, you know, there's still a lot of meat attached up there. And you can see this one just doesn't, doesn't really get wider. Um, there's not a lot of muscle attached up there right now. So it's a very, very depressing, disappointing injury. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need surgery or not, I still have to go get an MRI next week. So, um, I just wanna make this video because you can never, you can never be too prepared. You can never be too warmed up. Um, I, I, I believe there's a fine line in stretching. You don't wanna to stretch too much before you would lift because I feel like that can weaken your muscles and ligaments if you stretch too much right before. But I think it's very important to, after you work out, stretch and make sure you're not tight. And then just always listen to your body too. Um, I, I, felt, I felt pain and tightness in my front delts right here on my very first set, warm up set on bench press, just 135 pounds just warming up and I felt pain and stiffness in my shoulders. And, you know, I expected it to just go away after, after a few more sets, but it didn't really go away. And then I still tried to max out and this is what happened. So I hope this helps you guys um, I hope this prevents someone from getting injured. So that's what that's the reason I made this video is I just hope it helps someone because I don't want anyone to have to go through this. Like I had uh, I had high hopes of competing this year, doing some bodybuilding shows, which I'm still gonna do. Um, it's just gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for this to heal. If I do need surgery, it could be anywhere from six to nine months. Um, if I don't need surgery, I don't know how long it'll heal, but um, just by looking at it, I, I just don't know if I'd feel comfortable not getting surgery. Um, I don't know. If there's, I don't know if there's enough tendon up here left to, um, to be strong enough to, you know, do a press and do chest workouts anymore. So, um, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. 
I hope this helps you. Give this video a thumbs up. Send me some good vibes, some positive energy so I can recover quickly because, you know, the gym is my life. And right now I'm kind of, I'm kind of having to put that on standby a little bit. So thanks for watching guys. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I appreciate the support and we'll catch you guys in the next one.